You're watching a segment of The Splash, Greater West Bloomfield's news magazine show. And now it's time for Sidewalk Talk, where reporter Patrick McElmurray asked the people of West Bloomfield about some of their favorite pals. My all-time favorite pet is my cat, Joey. He's fat and he's snuggly. What's your all-time favorite pet and why? It would be my high school dog or my dog when I was younger. His name was Wrinkles. He was a Chinese Sharpay, and he was just my best buddy. I mean, he was always waiting by the back door when I showed up. He, I could mess around with him. He would just go on walks. He would do anything. He, if I started running a bath, he'd jump in the bathtub. So he's just a fun dog. Good Sounds guy. like it. I wish I had a dog like that growing up. Yeah, he was a good guy. Uh, my favorite pet was my cat, Tiger. I got Tiger when I lived in Kansas, and he was a Maine tabby raccoon. And he was just the most gorgeous cat, and he lived to be 16 years old. I had a Rottweiler, his name was Cisco. I don't know, I just love that dog. Sit down, like, it seemed like he just knew everything that was on my mind. Like, he followed, he followed my emotions, not even have to say anything to him, he just followed, you know. Like, it's, amazing. it's amazing pet's intuition, they'll know when you're, when you're down, when you're up, whatever. Yep, I love that dog, I miss him. Um, favorite pet was German Shepherd, because it was protector of the family, yes. How long you have? Um, years until he attacks someone for attacking a family member. <laughs> well, it's not like that family. That, that cousin should not have come over. No, not at all. <laughs> what was your favorite pet and what made him so great? Well, my all-time favorite pet was Goldie, the goldfish. And I won him at the state fair and my dad let me bring him back, but he died. And my dad replaced him, but he was a different color, but he didn't know I knew he didn't look at the color marks of the fish. He got you a blue one. But... He was a gold, and then, well, he was orange, and then he turned blue. Uh, my favorite all-time pet was my dog named Pung. Um, she, was, she was my favorite because um, she actually came to me. I adopted her in college. Um, I didn't know that I wanted a dog, but she just kind of stumbled upon me, and she was just the most lovable, adorable pet, and I have her tattooed on me forever. Do they do say the pets find, choose us, we don't choose the pets? Yeah, yep, she absolutely chose me. That's, that's beautiful. I had a Siamese cat named Maggie Mae, and I had her for seven years, and she was just a lot of fun. Kind of like a little mini human, she talked, so it was cool. I haven't had another pet since. So. You talk back to her? Yes, of course. You're the same thing with my cat. Yes, good. My thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> for Civic Center TV in West Bloomfield, I'm Patrick McElmurray, and this was Sidewalk Talk. For more episodes of Sidewalk Talk on Demand, visit civiccentertv.com slash sidewalk talk. Thanks for watching a segment of The Splash. To catch the entire show or other segments, watch us on Comcast Channel 15 or AT&T Channel 99. Or look us up online at thesplash.tv and listen to us on WBLD 89.3, the all-new Lakes FM.